Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all tune in to another video, man. Cross time with Swaps, man. Do me a favor, man. Y'all get before y'all get too deep in this video, go ahead and smash that like button, man. Go subscribe. We on the road to a thousand subscribers, guys. We're very close. Also, the watch time. We need like six more, six more hundred watch time. But today's video is gonna be a, explaining y'all on the five three six zero, um, four eight five three six zero, different types of intakes, the different types of thought about it. What's the difference? few rails what is the drop by wire what is drop by cable what is the return style what is the injectors was motec was um the other injectors eb ones the eb6 all right so today guys we're going to explain to y'all what is this this channel is to help the ones that don't know you know um so let me start this thing right now guys this is a wild hunters that came off a of 6.0 right the 6.0 came from a chevy silverado a 2000 model chevy silverado um 2500 all right i didn't get too prepared but i didn't think i was going to record the wire issue so this wire came off that motor which is a drive-by wire okay how do y'all know it's a drive-by wire what is I'm looking at? Okay. For one, first thing first, you see the blue and green. The blue and green is always drive by wire. Okay. Not only that, you have a different plug that's going to go towards your throttle body, you know, your stuff like that. So, anyway, green and blue is the drive by wire. Now, What's drive-by cable? Let me go to this wall harness. Drive-by cable is red and blue. Red and blue is drive-by cable. Okay, what's the difference? The difference between the drive-by cable and the drive-by wire. Okay, this is drive-by wire. All right, why is it drive-by wire? Because for one, if you look at this thought about it, you have the wire that goes here. This the only wire that goes on this drive-by wire, thought about it. There is no other outlet besides this, so that's why it's called drive-by wire. It's electronic, so if you look at it, if you hear it, that's the motor, all right? So that's what you hear. So anytime y'all at a junkyard, anytime you wanna go and check out a motor and they ask what type of um, if you're doing an LS swap, what do I need? How do you know? Because I get a lot of calls, a lot of texts on my other channels, and people ask me, when they inbox me on Facebook, they say, hey, um, what do I need? And I say, is it a drive-by wire, drive-by cable? They don't know. So this is drive-by wire, electronic. So drive-by cable is going to look like this. It's the cable part that goes here. It don't have no, oh, I got, I can't lose that. It's still good right here. Well, it's actually broke, but. This is a sensor. This is the idle control air. I need that. I don't wanna lose that. The idle control air valve, something like that. And this is the throttle position sensor. But anyway, guys, this is the drive-by cable. You got this. It's not as big. If you put it compare, it's the same thing almost. When it come down to this, the I think it's like four, four inch. But you have a vacuum hose right here on it. You have the cable hooked up. You got the springs. And you got two sensors that goes on here. Then, like I said, you just got one on here this is the drive by wire just think of this box is electronic box and this one don't have an electronic box so you got to have a cable so that's the difference all right intake wise this intake came off the 60 this intake came out the 53 this intake came off a 48 what's the difference well one guy said man you need to use the 60 intake it's better well, you have, you don't have to. He was like, you can't use the 5.3 intake. Yes, you can. 
The same intake that's on my car, coming from a 5.3, can fit directly on the 6.0 intake, can fit directly on the 4.86 intake. I mean, motor. I, I tried all that. So, what's the difference? Okay, um, you got a, a little slight difference. I wish I had another one to show y'all. So, I think um, it might be. No, nah, it's on the other motor. Well, no, nah, it's here. Yep, 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 it's here. Good. All right, let me show y'all the difference. This comes from a 6 0 drive by wire. You can change it to drive by cable. Only thing you got to do is take the three millimeter, uh, the three bolts, 10 millimeter bolts off, and you can just attach that on the same setup. EGR valve. You got uh, vacuum hose here. This is actually a vacuum hose too. You just twist this off with some pliers, the vacuum hose here. Your map sensor go here. Your brake booster go here if you have the delete or whatever. All right. The same setup. Cathedral ports. Boom. Look at it. Everything the same. All right. Go through the 5.3. Five, 5.3. Three. Five, three. You still got your brake booster. Boom. You got your map sensor go here. This is what I actually tore it off. You can see the little hole right there in the middle. It's a vacuum hose. I had this going to my transmission. This difference is, when you see this block off right here, nothing can go right there, right? You don't need to have nothing on your ETR. You don't have to put nothing there. I forgot what it called, but if you get this and you want to do a swap, that's cool. You, you know, less parts. Now, if you get one that does have the hole, and you know you got your EGR, I think you got your little tube running through on your motor and stuff like that. You're gonna have to take that tube and stuff off. And um, when you take that tube and stuff off, this was the EGR valve delete. Uh, this is what you call EGR valve delete. What is the EGR valve delete? Well, you're gonna have, just like this right here, when I took the EGR valve out, and this right here is the EGR valve. So you're gonna take this, Easy draw vibe out with this eight millimeter. And then you're gonna place this. You can buy just this if you don't need this, or you can buy both as a pair. Or you don't even have to mess with this because once you do a LS swap and get the vats deleted, they're gonna eliminate this. So you can still have this and it's not gonna be running. Now, you can use the block off or you can use a block off. So that's the difference on that part. All right, other words, like I said, you got the port here still, you got your port here, and all that stuff. All right, injectors. What's the difference on the injectors? What can I use on all that? Well, you can use the same injectors for your 6 48. If you're doing the return style that I know for a fact, if you're doing the return style, this is return style. How do you know this is return style? Well, you have two lines running here. Return style basically is, this top one is a 3.8, which is your feed line. That's where your gas is gonna go to. That's where your gas sends through your fuel injectors and all that, right? Well, the gas you don't need, you need 50 to 58 PSI for this to run your 5.3 or your 6.0 or your 4.8, right? If you got the uh, uh, return style, you're going to have a, right here is a um, a regulator, fuel regulator. It gives out what it needs and it sends it back to this 5.16 back into your fuel tank. So that's the return. The gas is returning, right? All the gas that comes in and sends it out and returns what it don't need by your regulator. The, re the regulator controls how much gas is needed by what's needed by the, you know, computer and stuff like that and uh, the ejectors. All right, so the return list, if you got a return list, you're gonna only have one, and which is gonna be your feed line, which is your 3.8. You know, your 3 8 always your bigger line, 5 16 always the smaller line. So, return, uh, return, I mean, not return, um, 
this return style and your return list. Your return list meaning you don't have a return style. You don't have this second one. You just had this first one. Now, if you use your motor and you put this on with just that one, then you're going to need a food pressure regulator, like the Corvette style regulator. The Corvette style regulator, let me show y'all before I jump off stage. Corvette style regulator going to be similar to this. So this is a fuel filter that I use for my LS swaps. So a return of uh, like a Corvette style regulator gonna have one coming in and two going out. So you, the one comes in is gonna be your feed, right? Then you're gonna have on the other end, you're gonna have a, a, a feed line and uh, like a return line. It's gonna be a smaller one. The smaller one, you're gonna hook that up to your tank and the feed line gonna go to the feed line. So it built in, it's a fuel filter built in, wood or regulator built in, this one thing, you know? So the gas gonna shoot through and what it don't need is gonna calculate back to the tank. And it's gonna send what it needs, it's gonna calculate the other one back to the tank. Therefore, you won't have two lines just going all the way to the tank. You will just have one line going to your that fuel regulator, Corvette style, and brakes off, and now you got two going to the tank. So that's on that part. Now the injectors, these are some Motec injectors. The Motec is always the little skinny ones, the little, little skinny ones. I know you can barely see, but they're the little skinny ones. These called Motec. These right here, they have the the little two hand, the little two pin prong. But I upgraded my motor with the four pin prong. These right here is the EV6. These are more of a square, and I think of EV6 as a dice. Like if you look at a dice, you think about six, and the the way it's squared off, I look at it like a dice. So I say EV6, EV1s. Is the one more of a rectangle, not squared, but EV like a rectangle. That's the difference on them guys, on the intakes and all. The intakes the same. Somebody just shaved it all down. They took all this off. They took all this stuff off and shaved it. I don't know what they had going on, but they ain't got nothing sticking up on here. So they just shaved this. And yes, like I said, guys, that's the difference. You can use a 485360. If you go and drive by wire, just remember, whatever motor that comes out, the drive by the truck, drive by wire truck, whatever, you can use that gas pedal. But you will have to put it in your car if you're doing LS swap on old school. But you have to make a bracket for that pedal to run this. It's the blue and green. On this one, you can use your factory and you can use blue and red. Blue and red is a drive-by watt cable. So that's the difference, guys. Hope this video helped. If y'all need any more, y'all can comment. Like I said, um, we're gonna work together. And also, um, y'all can just always rewind the video. If I leave out anything, y'all can correct me. Um, and that way it can help others. But yeah, so that's the difference on the intake.